due to all the chaos here at MPX for Fight, Win, Survive, we were finally able to catch up with Nigel Rabbit outside of the actual building. Now, Nigel, we've been talking to all the other captains about their teams, about their strengths, about what they expect out of their wrestlers as they go into this event. You particularly have some of the the greatest, not only uh, past champions, but potential future champions, as well as one rather interesting choice. Let's go ahead and start from the top. Christopher Hayden, where do you stand with him being on your team? Well, Christopher Hayden was a simple choice. I mean, there is no one in the history of Metroplex Wrestling who has changed the landscape of the company quite like Christopher Hayden. Ever since he showed up with Genesis and literally rearranged the way this company viewed itself, he has been a force of incredible change. Not to mention the fact he is a former Metroplex wrestling champion and in my personal opinion, perhaps one of the greatest that's ever held the title. He was a just a, a perfect choice for me. All right, and then, of course, we move on to a team that you actually, at our last show, abandoned because of their actions, but are still keeping them as part of the Empire, part of Team Blue. We've got Glamour Hammer. Exactly where do you stand on them and still having them on your team? Well, first of all, let me make something very clear to you, Benjamin. Just because they did something that <clears throat> the Empire doesn't agree with, just because the Empire had a problem with how they behaved doesn't mean that they are not members of the Empire. The Rabbit Empire is a family and we take care of our own. That being said, that was a bit of tough love that I felt that Joshua said he needed. He needed something to galvanize him into a stronger, better competitor. and. Uh, I think that what we'll see from Joshua City from this point on is not just a more serious, galvanized party city, but I think we will see a stronger, better champion in the future from him. J.D. Cross, the hammer J.D. Cross. I look forward to the day when we get to hear introducing your Metroplex Wrestling Champion, The Hammer, J.D. Cross. He has got some of the greatest potential that Metroplex Wrestling has ever seen. And like a fine sculptor, I look forward to, go to guiding and molding him into something that everyone here can look at as a formidable and respectable champion. And finally, we have a competitor that I don't think anybody expected to be on your team, one Francis Fisher. Frankie, you know, again, another member. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that. I promise. I thought it would have been Make funny. Fun of me I'm not. Peril. I really just. Frankie Fisher. Francis Fisher is my linchpin. You see, I've got champions. And with Francis Fisher, I've got a two-time champion. But the one thing that Francis brings is drive, determination. See, Francis Fisher wants to be as far from the Rabbit Empire as possible. And I've given that to him. So, with Christopher Hayden's drive to once again where the MPX Championship title, Glamour Hammer's drive to prove themselves, not to me. They don't need to prove themselves to me. It's to you fans and Metroplex Wrestling, you fair weather twits. They're going to prove themselves not just as champions, but as quality competitors. And Francis, Francis just wants to prove that he belongs as far away from me as possible. Well, thank you for joining us, Nigel. Good luck to you with the following tournament. We look forward to seeing your competitors in action and wish you all the best. Here comes my